guys welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign or scorpio so today is january 16th and the prayer says you are the prince of peace and you have truly overcome the world i also experience your peace because of the victory i am promised through you calm my heart when it wanders or forgets your truth lord jesus and help me to remember my position in your external kingdom okay so you got to see what's going on with you guys in love the Scorpio, you could be getting to Scorpio, the has Scorpio on your charts, okay? I'm about to spray stuff about all things intuitive, energy clearance, age, smudge spray, okay, to clear the energy. Before I start you guys reading, okay, I hope everybody's having a great day. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, okay? If you're getting into Aquarius, go on my first YouTube channel, Zinnia Tarot, okay? Go subscribe. I'm doing a giveaway very soon on that channel. So, get with the program. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Spirit guides, the love of my ancestors and masters, my angel of the prayer of my. What's going on? Zodiac sign of Scorpio and love. I have Scorpio on my moon. So, that's interesting. <laughs> we have here, not a pinnacle. So, some of you guys got somebody that's trying to. To commit to you they're very serious about this commitment too as well okay this person could be stubborn okay you could be connected to a Virgo or a Leo okay what I'm seeing here is like this person took a long time to commit to you but they're committing yeah like they're gonna come in like slow they probably want to be friends with you first or just show you some type of love attention and affection like you know flirt with you okay to see how you feeling about them because they know that they took a long time they know they were stubborn yeah they're coming to they see you being very independent here if they're not a pendency, okay, Virgo? You are just doing the damn thing, okay? And you have been very focused on your business and yourself. But this person, they're focused on you, okay? And they're inspired by you, okay? They think you're very sexy, very abundant, very elegant and intelligent, okay? And they're they're coming in towards you, okay? This person is ready for that. they like, a Scorpio, that's mine, okay? Um, we have here the Ace of Cups. Yeah, this person has so much love for you. Some of you guys could be getting married, okay? But this person is very emotional about you, okay? And we have the Three of Swords here. So it's some type of heartbreak that went on in the situation, okay? Well, yeah, see? Okay. Clarify this Three of Swords, Spirit Guides. Three of Swords, Spirit Guides. Thank you. We have the Magician, the Empress. No, okay. These all major arcanas here. So something happened here. Something major happened here and it broke this person's heart, okay? It was some type of life-changing situation, okay? Something that was going to happen inevitable. But I'm seeing here, okay, this person, I'm seeing here manifested something here with their mother of their kid because we have the empress and that's the mother energy here okay they made a decision okay to try to work things out with some type of mother energy and this person could have been very like money hungry okay i just could have been worried about money too much to the point where this person really didn't this queen of pentacles really didn't care about this um person right his masculine energy here that wants to come to commit to you now okay they could have been very codependent on this person okay and she broke this person's heart okay but it allowed this person to see that they needed to change okay and they allowed to see um, who they really had love for and who really had their back. Yeah, I'm seeing here somebody just stayed in some type of relationship with this Queen of Pentacles here because it looked good to the public, okay? And um, also, they was afraid of what other people would have thought if they moved away from this person. But I'm seeing here, it was a tower moment. Some type of tower came. Some type of inevitable change ha happened here, okay? So they can break up because somebody didn't want to move. Okay, somebody just tried to stay in some type of situation here because it was comfortable. It was their comfort zone, okay? Yeah. So it was like, uh, enough of that. Yeah, we have the Emperor and we have the Page of Wands. Yeah, now this person is ascending. Whatever happened in this tower moment happened so this person can um, move up, okay, to ascend. And it's like the Page of Wands here, this person, okay, wants to communicate to you. The Page of Wands is going to be communicating to you. Okay, but with the, we have the two of wands here. This person, okay, is thinking how they're what they're going to say to you because the two of wands here. This person knew that they had to make a decision. Okay, this person was uncertain about their life, where their life was headed. And I'm seeing here this person um, wanted to be in control. Somebody here wanted to be in control. Somebody here was very rigid. Okay, wanted to be the boss. Okay, and I'm seeing here 
Now this person has to start all the way from square one. So if this person had a business that was booming, now we have a page of one saying, now this person has to start all over basically, okay? And I'm seeing here this person could have had a lot of pride here with the emperor here, okay? But that came crashing down. Somebody ego most likely came crashing down here. And we have the page of wands and the two of wands. Now this person is looking like, where have I deal with my life? The two of wands and the page of wands, okay? And they're trying to look for new ideas, okay? To start something new, okay? Because we have the king of wands here, okay? And this person wants to, is very passionate about their business, very passionate about um, being looked up to, okay? Um, also, you know, it could be a player energy. Yeah, we have the five of wands here. This person was definitely was a player, okay? And this person had a lot of gossip going on around about them and what was going on in their life here okay and had people want to fight for their attention because you know king of wands is very attractive okay and it's like they're very action oriented and these people want to take action on this king of wands here okay but i'm seeing the death card all that is over okay this person is going through some type of transformation this person has ended all that drama now this person wants to come and bring you justice okay because they see they're not like rowdy and stuff like that like you know if you're rowdy, it's for the right reasons, not because of, to, you know, to fight over or speak about another person, right? Because if this person want to be a player and care too much about what other people think, then that's on him, okay? But I'm most definitely seeing here, if he was with this Queen of Pentacles, the way, which he was, he wasn't really royal and faithful, committed towards that person, okay? I'm also seeing here that somebody um, in a some type of situation here, somebody could have died or something like that, in some type of situation, now somebody has to go to court, Okay, it was some type of, um, you know, street business going on in this situation. Okay, for somebody. Yeah, we have the moon and we have the two of swords. See, I'm seeing here, okay, that this person was like in denial. This person was living a lot. This person was um, used to being around people that had secrets, okay, that were a mask here, that had hidden attentions here. Okay, and we have the two of swords here. This person was confused, okay, on who to give this offer to with the paper pentacles here, okay? But now I'm seeing here, we have the Fear of Pentacles here, okay, and we have the Nine of Wands. So I'm seeing here that this person, okay, has some type of business here, okay, will be collaborating with people now, even though they don't have enough, but they're around people that's helpful, that's helping them get back, you know, in their business, okay, um, working, okay. And we have the Nine of Wands here, this person feels like a wounded warrior, but they're still determined here. And I'm also seeing here with the Page of Pentacles here, this person could add a you a part of a third party it's like they was confused but they still can give you some type of offer here and they reflected on this offer okay and they realized that they wanted to give it to you okay but it's like the seven of pentacles here they was already with somebody they gave somebody an offer here okay that they was already with they could have had a business with this person okay and i'm seeing here this person felt like this is an ongoing struggle but they kept going okay because of finances here they had some type of business together with finances here and this person felt like he had to give this person an offer okay even though he was confused between two people okay but he stayed because of money we have king of swords here and this person realized okay and we have the queen of swords so there's somebody's kind of his kind of parts here so he's realizing now that he's become more intelligent through this whole process and he has seen a lot of things here and now the king of swords here it's like he's ready to um move on it's like he most definitely realized he don't have funds for this person anymore and i'm saying he's cut this person off they could have spoke negative words towards each other because we have the king of swords and the king the queen of swords okay they could most definitely have a divorce as well for some of you guys okay because this person is choosing a love okay he's going towards another person he's making a choice to go towards another person here okay mm -hmm. I'm saying his person was very intelligent and wise when it came to business as well. Okay. And we have here, yep, see the six of swords. This person's gonna make a choice. He's gonna be moving away from all this negativity. Okay, he's gonna be communicating with you with the eight of wands here, traveling towards you, okay, overcoming obstacles, okay. And I'm seeing the five of cups here and the will of fortune here. I'm seeing here he's gonna have some type of regrets there, some type of emotional baggage, or you know, just thinking about the past a lot, okay. But this person's gonna come in towards you, but I'm seeing here they think that you're gonna not want them. That's gonna make them feel very sad, very, you know, just in their emotions here because they now they want to come towards you with the will of fortune okay and some of you guys probably planning to see elsewhere but this person wants to plan to see with you they're going to most definitely ask you to be with them okay so let's see send me back this connection spirit guides i love you and since it's the masters my angels pride and light with scorpio and love. 
Scorpio love spirit guys of the night and the masses and this on night. Okay, here we have marriage. See, some of you guys are getting married, or this person could have been married. It said you will either take your relationship to the next level or you will get married. That's much to celebrate. So this person is most definitely gonna ask you for marriage. It's gonna ask you to take things to the next level with them. Okay, we have infatuated love. Okay, it says whether you are falling fast or it's a romantic obsession, stay grounded before you get caught in an illusion. So somebody was infatuated with somebody here and they got caught in an illusion and it became a romantic obsession or they just fell super hard for this person because they was infatuated. You see how this person's eyes look? Uh, she like in awe of this person. Like, wow, Jesus Christ, where you come from? We have twin flames. Some of you guys are dealing with the twin flame situation. It says you assume it's your twin flame and this is how the twin flame situation used to go. They usually be married or in stuff commitment here and they have to learn lessons from that person. And then they come back to you once they ascended, you know? And then that time you guys been separated, you have ascended. So you guys could be dealing with a twin flame situation. I'm seeing here somebody has to give somebody mixed signals. Okay, and it's driving somebody crazy here. A lover is unsure of what they want, so you make signals causing great confusion. Maybe it's time, maybe it's best to move on. So some of you guys need to move on. Definitely have somebody giving you mixed signals. Like, um, that's stressful. You don't want to be looking like this, going crazy, right? Um, we have new romance. So if this person, I'm seeing here, this person keeps giving you mixed signals. Okay, this could be a twin flame that's doing this. Okay, spirit saying you have new romance coming in towards you. So you're going to have the opportunity to experience a positive new beginning. Okay, and we have healing love. It says, this love will force you to heal all the parts of yourself you've been neglecting. You deserve healthy love. So spirit is um bringing this person in your life. Okay, to teach you how to heal all the parts that you have been neglected. And that's twin flames. Okay, so they're going to bring this person in your life to teach you how to love yourself. Because you deserve healthy love. You don't deserve to be with somebody that's married or have give you big signals right we have online connection some of you guys can have this person online okay or you could be talking to people online okay spirit is saying something's gonna have a divine timing here okay it says someone online will spark your interest be sure they to check to see if they who they are they claim to be okay i hope i said the right and we have divine timing it says we can never manipulate time you can only work with it start working hand in hand with divine timing so some of you guys need to be patient because something divine divine timing is that working your love life right now okay but make sure these people that you talk to online, okay, they are who they claim to be, okay? Because that is online. It is social media. So people could put up a front all they want. That's what social media is for. People to, you know, put up a front. But behind closed doors, you never know what's really going on with them in their lives, right? And we have playing the field, see? So you guys have to be careful because these people that you're meeting online, okay, these people are still playing the field. Somebody is not ready to settle down too much for playing the field. Just be careful with your sexuality. So if you guys are doing this, birds and strap up. Okay, and at the bottom of the deck here, we have abstinence. It says, having a dry spell or sex drop can be frustrating, but it doesn't have to be. Take this time to love yourself first. So some of you guys are taking the time to love yourself first. Okay, you're not having sex, you're celibate, okay? You just focus on yourself and your career. Because I did see the Nine of Pentacles. And the Nine of Pentacles is about somebody to just focus on themselves, okay? Um, working hard, okay? So let's see, what are some hidden truth messages that Scorpio person wants to tell them? Removing negative energies from this deck, the like spirit guides of the light, ancestors and masters, and angels of the light. We have here, you and I were too young. Okay, so I'm saying somebody want to tell you about somebody here that they messed with, that they got with this person when they were very young, and they really didn't know what, you know, that this person's, you know, toxic. We have, I'm becoming a better person. Yeah, this person has allowed this person to become a better person. I was taught this person a lesson. Okay. We have here, I'm not available. So this person's not available right now because it's time for them to heal. This person's really transforming. Okay. So they need that space and time so they can learn what they need to learn. We have here, I look for you everywhere. But this person hopes to look for you everywhere, even though they're not communicating to you right now because they're not available. But they're going through things in their life and it's changing, right? Find out the truth, crush me. Yeah, they find out the truth about the person they've been dealing with. And they crushed them, so they didn't know that that was the case. I want to be more of the friend. So you guys can most definitely be friends right now. Just take the thing slow. But this person wants to be more, more than friends with you. Okay. So we have here, we will be together again. So this person is saying, I'm getting my life together, but most definitely I'm coming back for you, Scorpio. Okay. 
So, I hope this video gave guys a lot of clarity. If it did, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!